What's up guys, this is Luke, and today we're going to be doing a follow-up video to the previous video on the VEX Autonomous Planner. Now if you'd like to get a link to the form thread where it was first released, or get a link straight to the program itself, both of those will be down in the description of this video. Moving along to the program, uh, you're going to notice that right here I have the same setup as I did in the first video. Um, I actually did that just by importing the file. And that went on very easily for the configuration. However, when I moved over to keyframes, I had a little bit of an issue. When I tried to play the program um, so I could watch the animation play out, it would not allow me. It just kept freezing. So what I figured out as the fix was if you just select frame 1, then frame 2, and just keep doing that all the way through to the last frame, um, that fixes the problem so that now, as you can see, the animation is playing out. Just let it ride. Okay. So, anyways, moving right along to the code, one quick note, I highly recommend donating to Ruiki Mao, or as he's known on the Vex forums, as iAndroidOS, um, because it's a great way to support someone who's done a great service for free, in good faith, hoping that people would support him, and so that's a, a great way that we can uh, just show that we appreciate what he's done. Anyways, you're going to want to select all this code. Hit Control C to copy it, put it on your clipboard, then you're going to want to open up Robot C, wait for it to load. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. New competition template. Then put after hashtag include, a couple lines, paste it in there. You're going to see we have all of our code in here now. Um, now, as I had mentioned in the first video, there is no way in the wizard to uh, enter in or for the computer to know how many counts or enc encoder counts or encoder ticks or whatever you want to call it um, it takes to complete a turn or to complete a movement so here is the variable and you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself um, for your robot so for on the rotation uh, you're just gonna want to hard code in your own function and just find out however many uh, encoder ticks it takes to say turn like 10 turns and then you're just going to want to divide that by 10 but make it as close to exactly 10 as possible so that when you divide it by exactly 10 um, you're going to be getting an accurate number of ticks um, same thing for ticks per foot you're going to want to calculate it for the movement um, how many ticks it takes to move one foot then also up here you're going to see here are all your variables for the PIDs. Um, you're going to also have to find those out because those are again specific to your drive and to your lift. So for your proportional integral derivative and integral limits you're going to have to figure that all out or you can also use a more scientific approach as Jay Pierman and some other people have mentioned in some really great articles that they have posted on the VEX form. So I highly recommend looking into those um, as you're trying to figure this all out. Now if you scroll down here, you're going to see a PID, but below that you're going to see an autonomous run, which is the one that the wizard came up with us, came up with for us, and here it says VAP autonomous. So uh, f if you want, you can go down here to the autonomous, and you can put in VAP autonomous. And there we have that. You can compile this if you'd like by hitting F7 to make sure that there are no errors. Um, and we'll just call this uh, tutorial test. I don't care about replacing that, so yes. And you will see we have no major errors. This is all just um, minor syntax stuff, which we can't really help because it was generated for us. So uh, once again, if you want to rename this something else like score cubes you can scroll down and rename this as well score cubes and if there was not a function up there that was named score cubes we would get an error but if we compile this here we see there's no error because we are referencing the correct function so um with fine-tuning of those variables up here this would be a completely viable uh, little programming run so once again thanks to iAndroidOS or Mao for developing this great tool um, also thanks for watching this video don't forget to like share it with anyone 
at your club or on your team who might find this helpful or interesting. And uh, subscribe if you're new. So once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.